What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Oh, hi there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review. It's today I'm very excited to check out Obama Llama from Big Potato. This is for four plus players, taking about 30 minutes to play. It's for ages 14 plus. And Obama Llama is a party game in which you are going to be trying to get people to guess celebrities doing various different things that rhyme with that celebrity's name. What am I talking about? Uh, the Tooth Fairy can't eat dairy. Zeus riding a moose. A Yeti eating spaghetti. Tom Selleck. Uh, ooh, I can't, uh, Tom Selleck, uh, yeah, something that else that rhymes with Selleck. That was a terrible example. But anywho, you're going to be trying to get your team to guess these rhymes, either by making up your own clues, reading off clues on cards, or by acting out the act. What am I talking about? Let's open it up, and I'll tell you what I think. Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Obama Llamas. First of all, we're going to get a handy dandy little rule sheet. It's one page, double sided, and it's pretty well done. It should have you up and running in no time at all. It's also a very simple game, so I can show you how to play the game right now. So in Obama Llama, you're going to break up into two teams in this party game, and you're going to take turns either solving it, describing it, or uh, doing the acting it out phase. You're going to do that by picking one person who is going to be doing that. So on your turn, what you're going to do is you're going to roll a die. Then you're going to draw the top card of that color. So in this phase, we would be describing it. Now, the other team is going to time you for 30 seconds using a sand timer or an app on your phone. They also have an app you can download. And you're going to be trying to get your team to guess as many of these phrases as you can. So you can, you can do it by not using any of the words on here. So for this one, we might be like uh, Ghostbusters, uh, Zombieland. You know, so we might say Bill Murray. Then you, you know, yeah, thumbs up. And then you might say, no, 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 no. They say eating, Bill Murray, eating. And then, ooh, uh, shoots three pointers, Golden State Warriors. And then someone might say, Bill Murray eating curry. And be like, yeah, that's a point. So then you would mark one point. And the next one, uh, uh, wedding crashers, uh, swingers, uh, you know, uh, funny, tall guy, Vince Vaughn. And then you might be like, uh, green, the, 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 the green guy who is, he scares people sometimes at the end of a pot of gold. They might be like, Vince Vaughn dressed as a leprechaun. And yeah, they might get it. So you'd get two points. Now, since you didn't complete the card though, the card is actually going to go back on the top. Uh, which means that the next team has a chance to do it as well. So there's definitely a memory aspect to this game. Now, what you're hoping to do, though, is you're hoping to get three, and you can continue to draw cards if you get all three on a card, because when you get three, you get to flip over two of these cards down here with the hopes of getting a match, but not a typical match. You're actually trying to get a rhyme. So Giant Squid and Lemon Squeezer would not rhyme. Let's see if we can find a rhyme. Selfie Stick, Uncle Sam... Bowl of Spaghetti, Harry Yeti. Oh, there we go. So Bowl of Spaghetti, Harry Yeti, that'd be a rhyme. And boom, we would have one point, essentially, because we got a match. Uh, we'll quickly go over the other two types of cards so you can see how they go. The next one are the Solve It cards. And how this one works is you read this, and then they try and guess it. Um, I'll talk more about this in the pros and cons. But it's very similar to the Describe It, except they tell you exactly what to say. You also get one pass on your turn, so you're very, you can pass one time if you're having issue with a particular card. Uh, the Dr. Dre one, or Orlando Bloom, or Harrison Ford, you're actually going to hold up, and everyone will see who the, the celebrity is that you're talking about, and then you're going to act out the second part of it. So you'd pretend to be at the ballet, they'd be like, Dr. Dre at the ballet, Dr. Dre playing croquet. And so they're going to be seeing that name, trying to figure out rhymes for it, and trying to figure out what you're doing in a hopes to figure out uh, what you're doing and earn the points. You're going to continue to go until all the matches have been done, at which point whoever has the most matches will be the winner of Obama Llama. And that, in a nutshell, is how the game is played. Alrighty then, Obama Llama from Big Potato. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, the game is not going to be for everybody for a couple of different reasons. This is a very simplistic party game. You know, there's no real strategy in it at all. This is definitely going to be skewed more towards the gateway crowd, which is going to be a turn off to some people. Also, gameplay-wise itself, I really like the acting out cards, I think that that is fun, where you have to silently act the cards. I really like the describe it, where you're trying to get people to guess the rhymes. That's a lot of fun. And I really hate the solve it cards. And my main problem is, the solve it and the describe it are very similar, except the solve it tells you exactly what to say. 
And if they don't know, they don't know. Whereas to describe it, you can get creative. How the middle part, how, uh, you know, I didn't know a good way to describe the food curry. So instead, I went with Steph Curry of the Golden State Warriors. So there's ways to fedangle your way around the questions. Now, another comment I have in this game is that this game, uh, the people that made this game are not from America. They're from, I believe, England or Europe or somewhere over there because I'm uh, ignorant and I don't know all that stuff. Uh, <laughs> And with that, you're going to get a lot of celebrities who you have no clue who they are. You're like, what? How am I supposed to get people to guess this person if I don't know who it is? And those came up more frequently than I would have liked to happen. Because, you know, it happened a couple times where I would pass on one. And then the next one would be like, oh, I don't know who this person is either. I guess we're screwed on this round. Um, another thing some people are not going to like is the memory aspect of this game because you're going to be repeating cards that other people have already used if they don't finish the card, which means you can just boom, 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 run through them very quickly, especially if you remember what the other team did. And also, the whole, the main mechanism in this game is that you're trying, you're essentially playing a game of memory, which is really weird and it feels like it was just shoehorned in there and they're like how do we want to do points let's make it a memory game it's kind of weird uh also the box is way too big like it is absurdly preposterously angrily like i want to rip off my shirt and turn into the hulk large box okay this is what comes in the game oh yeah and a die and a pencil this is all the space you need. This is the box you get. Let's see if I can put this, because the box is stupid too. This is the box you get. See, that, no, the game doesn't need to be that big. They're also a culprit of that with their, their Bucket of Doom game. I forgot to mention in that review, but that game also has a way too large container. And this isn't the kind of box where it's like they made it so you could fit in expansions in the future. No, it's just a really large, absurdly large box uh, and I don't understand why. Any other cons that I have with the game? You know, I think I pretty much covered it. Moving on to the pros, did I have fun with the game? Oh, last but con is that there's not as much cards as I would like in this game. And that is definitely something that is evident, uh, especially after, you know, playing it quite a few times, you're going to start repeating cards, which is, is a big deal in this game because you'll hear the celebrity be like, oh yeah, I remember they were doing that. And, and that's, that is unfortunate. It's not a huge deal unless you plan to play the game quite frequently, but it is something that I did want to mention. Moving on to the pros, though. As much as I'm slapping this game around, I had fun with it, and it was humorous, and it's interesting. It's a very interesting premise for a game, and it, it can be fun in the right situation. Now, is this a game that I'm going to go say, go out, go pick it up at Target, get this game, it's fantastic. No, absolutely not. This is 110% a try before you buy a game. And in fact, if someone else has this game, I'd honestly just be like, hey, you think I can borrow this? I got my in-laws coming in. I think they might have some fun with this game. Um, so, But I did have fun with it. And it was humorous. Act, I really like the acting out one, and I really like the describing one. And how fun those two are compared to how unfun the pink one is kind of counterbalances things. And, and it's an okay party game. I mean, that's a, it's an okay mass Marty party game. It costs a little bit too much. The box is way too big. One third of the game is not really fun. It has a really weird memory aspect, but I did enjoy the game as I was playing it. But there's a laundry list of problems. So overall, can I recommend Obama Lama? Probably not. Uh, probably not to 99% of the people. But hey, you might be that 1% of the people. So I'd recommend trying it before you're buying it. It's not, it sounds like it might be for you. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below or in the comments below. Let me know what could be the sequel to this game with the upcoming President Hillary. Uh, well, let, let's be realistic. It's probably going to be Hillary, even though I don't like Hillary Clinton. Uh, let's see. Hillary... Killery, Sillery, Hillary Celery, Hillary Shillery, Hillary Shillery, Hillary Billery. Oh, Hillary Billery! That's a great one on the box. They can have, uh, you know, Hillary and Billery, uh, Bill Clinton, you know, I don't know, doing stuff. I don't know. It's stupid. There's not going to be a sequel to this game. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.